so so following up on the previous podcast why does your name show up on on next to a listing i want if you're not the listing agent so if i make my way to some of the portals i.e zillow trulia which are sort of one and the same and you look at a particular property why does it show four different real estate agents there and how do i know who's who well the good well the question is zillow sells that marketing space they sell that advertising space so if you're a Zillow Premier member, you'll show up as the listing agent. If you don't subscribe to Zillow as an advertising as a as a customer of Zillow, meaning you're buying, you know, ad space, web space, your name's going to show up 25%, 35%, 15%, 10% of the time based on your monthly spend. Zillow puts the agents that spend money in that particular zip code next to that particular listing. So it's very con- confusing for the consumer, for you, the home buyer, and or the home seller, to see a house on 52 South Street, call one of the agents that face is aligned with 52 South Street, and have that person say, well, no, I'm not the listing agent, I'm the buyer agent, if they will even admit that to you, right? The smoke and mirrors of these of these you know third-party sites are selling the listing and selling the information back to agents who either have the listing or don't. For example, again, if I live in if I live in North Reading and I take a Lex a, a listing in Lexington, and I'm not a premier agent or I don't buy zip code space in Lexington, my listing in Lexington is going to show up with three Lexington customers, people who buy zip codes in Lexington. Therefore, showing the consumers or misleading the consumers that those three headshots next to the listing are in fact the listing agent. So you then put your name in the box and you say, hey, I got a question about whatever the Lexington listing is. You get a call from a person who you would assume to be the listing agent or an email without full disclosure that they're not the listing agent. And then they end up you know, being a buyer agent. It's very con- confusing to the public, uh, to you, the consumer or the home buyer or even the home seller who sees their property listed on the, on, on the sites and then doesn't see their agent's headshot. Or if you're an agent who hasn't uploaded a Zillow profile and then don't have a headshot altogether, it may show up as just gray space, which isn't good and isn't good marketing for you either. So most cases when you hit these these real estate web portals and you put your name in the box, Zillow, Truly, a Realtor, Home Game, those types of places, Homes.com, you're most likely going to be dropped into an email box of a potential buyer's agent, someone who wants to earn your business as a buyer agent to show you the property that's listed on that particular website. So again, just to follow up with the previous podcast, we, we you know when you're putting your name in a box, you're most likely not going to get the listing agent the first try. And I don't really think there's an advantage to getting to the listing agent. I think a buyer needs a buyer agent, a listing agent needs a listing agent, and dual agency is never really a good thing. Uh, it, it certainly can't represent both sides equally, despite what they sign or, or agree to verbally. It's really a, a tough, uh, a tough scenario to be in. So I hope that clarifies how you see the three different names on a listing in, in Zillow Trulia. Certainly, I'm Evan Russell with the R.A. Russell Realty Group. I'm easy to find. Hashtag Ask Evan. Uh, work with Evan on the Twitter feed and Evan at therussellteam.com for any emails or questions.